This has become an annual event for the Houston Texans. Every May, they tee it up for charity, all for the Texans Foundation. This has been going on now for 20 years. The idea came about from late Texans owner Bob McNair, and they haven't let up ever since. This year's event, raising a record over $400,000. Cal and Hannah McNair addressed that today. It's a win-win. The, the folks that play in it have a lot of fun. The players have a lot of fun coming out and uh, playing with. There's a player for every team, and we're doing good for uh, for the community. So it's a it's a triple win, and it's been um, a real honor to um, keep it going. And we were talking to Cal's mom earlier, and she said, "Oh, this was Bob's favorite." So to continue that legacy is really a lot of fun. It's a full field, over a hundred players out here, including current players and new head coach D'Amico Ryans. D'Amico, of course, met with the media talking football as they prepare for the start of rookie camp later this week. We're excited to work with, with all the guys, right? Drafted, undrafted. For me, it's all about, as coaches, it's our job to develop players, right? So it's us. We find out what young men do well, right? And how can we help them grow in the areas that they may have some weaknesses. So it's our job to understand those weaknesses as coaches and also just continue to help those guys right show them where they can improve go out and teach them drills teach them fundamentals of where they can get better that's what i feel like that's the exciting part of coaching for me is seeing just young men you know improve from day to day to day to see them improve that's the excitement i get out of coaching so excited to work with undrafted guys and drafted guys as well Rookie minicamp wraps up this weekend, then it's on to OTAs and a mandatory minicamp in the middle of June. Then it's a quick break and training camp officially opens in late July. With the Texans, Randy McAvoy, KPRC2 Sports.